yeah, as you can see, the hologram ain't working too good. Because that's what I want to talk about. Yeah, this is Henning Kim now. I'm just revealing my true self. Yes, I am an alien. I'm an Anunnaki. <laughs> well, uh, actually, I've been uh, looking yesterday out the chemtrails, and it doesn't matter how I twist and turn this subject, it all leads to the same place. Like the saying, you know, all road leads to Rome. And I was looking up aluminum oxide, and I can assure you this is a nasty little thing, aluminum oxide. You get that in your system, it never gets out again. Never. Pretty much. It is having a surface on it that makes it able to grip onto whatever, and it grips onto itself too, and it, its half-life is decades, so you pretty much stuck with it. But no matter how I twist and turn my research on this subject, chemtrails, it all led back to 3D holograms, because barium is a, a perfect medium for carrying uh, televised pictures, and strontium too is perfect for that. Even strontium have a memory function in it. So the transmitting and the computing and the processing is pretty much erased and you can make instantaneously uh, shifts in the pictures. And it also, with the barium, it creates a perfect a field of view, meaning it doesn't matter what angle you see the projection from, you see it as a perfect image. It doesn't matter where you are. So, by blocking out the sunlight by the aluminum oxides, which is disc uh, shaped, disc shaped, because they give the largest surface, the largest re reflectivity, plus it gives the largest absorption of uh, water molecules. So therefore, it's a perfect medium for sucking out the moisture of the atmosphere, which is needed for this coming Project Blue Beam. Uh, false flag, alien invasion. Well, there will be some real stuff arriving, but the big deal is that they need to unite the world in some form or fashion. So they have to scare you as much as possible. Um, I understand why this problem, chemtrails, is such a hush hush project that people are dying when they're talking about it. They're being found in ditches and so on. And now we have this mayhem uh, going out and chopping in public. Uh, about she's seen the canisters, she's seen the programs. Well, if she's real lucky, she will end in a ditch too, if she keeps talking, because this project is something you're not supposed to know about. Because for them, it's supposed to look real. For them, your perception has to be that you are yeah, pretty much almost ready to die in fear. Many men will f their hearts will faint and they will simply just die of what they're seeing on the spot because it's so horrific. And that's what they haven't planned for you. Well, then you can say the extermination part of the human race, well, it's been ongoing for thousands of years. It's always been the plan to, you know, better control, keep the numbers down. But you can say that the real uh, issue of the uh, Project Blue Beam is these materials, these alkaline metals they're using. I'm using the word alkaline because they are alkaline and they are supposed to be uh, a part of this Project Blue Beam. And they all meet the uh, specifications for Project Blue Beam. All the links is below. I'm not going to sit and go through it scientifically because I don't understand half of what I'm reading. But I do understand one thing. It's all leading to Project Blue Beam. So this has been in plan for a very long time. But what we... Uh, unfortunately, you can say it's a side effect 
of the preparation for the atmosphere to this Project Bluebeam display. Make sure you have your video cameras ready that day, because it's all fake. Um, it has this nasty side effect that it is actually destroying life. But if you look at it, Satan don't like God's creation, so why not destroy what he has made? So, unfortunately, these products, they're using aluminum oxide, uh, potassium iodide, uh, barium, uh, titanium, copper sulfate, uh, uh, strontium. All these uh, are part of the Project Bluebeam. But they have this nasty side effect that they are destroying the soil and they are destroying the crops. And it's destroying our forest, it's destroying everything. And this stuff on the same, same time is extremely flammable. So, it's just a nasty side effect. And someone is profiting on that now, and we know who that is. That's Monsanto, because they can grow crops in aluminum resistant on or abiotic stress on plants, they have the seed for that. So when you get the seed and you plant the seed, you're screwed because then you belong to Monsanto and we can all eat your cancerous food. And you don't know it because it's not public in the United States that GMO food is actually giving people cancer. They have done multiple studies in Europe and it's not for good, uh, not for uh, for nothing that they have banned GMO in Europe and those places especially France even though that is probably the most godforsaken place on this planet um, the citizens there they are doing what they were supposed to do and that is they're going out in the middle of the night and then they are ripping up the entire GMO field and saying not in France you ain't growing that shit here. And that's pretty much what Americans should do. But, you know, it's futile. They're going to spray and they're going to spray and they're going to spray. And there will be no option for you than other than growing Monsanto food. Because nothing can grow which is naturally made from God's side. Today, it is impossible. It's very few places now that anything grows naturally. And, well, you can say in a good shape. Uh, I decided to be an alien today because this is what it's about. This is about this alien deception. And what I want to talk about that is that the Pope before the Nazi Pope, you know, Ranzinger, the man who looks like the evil emperor from Star Wars, is who just resigned. And now we have the last Pope. But that Pope just before him, he set down a doctrine which he would like the Catholic Church is presenting to the public which is supposed to be preached and supposed to be written in law from the Vatican that this shall be preached to the congregations. And that is that we should consider, not consider, but we should see the aliens as our brothers and sisters. And those who do not proclaim that they are our brothers and sisters are committing heresy. And Ratzinger, he has really favored that one. And it ties in with Project Bluebeam, the false alien invasion. It ties in with this evil entity, which is the aliens. And they are not your friends. I don't care what you call them. Andromedans, Pleiadians. Oh, Pleiadians have an occult little ring to it too, if you look that up. There was a secret society called Pleiadians back in time, not for fun. So Andromedans, Draconians, Galactic Federation of Light and whatever, Nordic, whatever they want to call themselves. They're all full of BS. They're all the same. They are evil spirits which can manifest themselves as they see fit, as anything they see fit. All they need to do is look at it and then they become what they're looking at. That's the power they have. So they can come to you and give you all kinds of good stories and then you project it out to YouTube and by that you are deceiving many. But 
they're good at it. They're damn good at it, right? Already now you're beginning to believe that I am a true alien because I started out saying that I am an alien, but now I'm disclosing it all. We are about, we are already here, but we are helping your government, creating a false flag alien invasion to make a new world government, a new world order, so we can exercise the Luciferian doctrine on the human race, meaning you will be our slaves, our peasants, and we're going to have lots of fun with you. Yeah. So, that's what it is. It has nothing to do with, you know, killing us off, because in reality they could just let some Ebola spray out of the airplanes and that fate would be sealed in a matter of a few days. That would be very, very simple. But I also believe that we can be, because we are more conductive now, and by that, we are also able to now receive uh, signals from the cell phone towers into our brains because we have this aluminum and it's extremely good for that. It's used a lot in the in the electronics industry and so is barium is in the electronics industry, especially TV industry and strochium too. So you, ha you have it all. It all pertains to electronics. Uh, it all pertains to uh, science tech and it pertains to holograms, pertains to optics, so that's your answer. It is all in the name of Project Bluebeam, and it just have unfortunately a nasty side effect, which for them is wasteful, for us not. And I'm afraid, people, there's only one way that you can well, there is two. One is stupid and will probably not succeed, uh, but the other one is real good, and that is you repent. The stupid idea is you go out and stop them, you know, because that's your only option now. You can either pray or you can go out and fight like a man, even if you are a woman, because this is direct assault against all humans on this planet. And if you paid attention to the chemtrails, they're not spraying in low populated areas. No, they're only spraying in dense populated areas. And why is that? Because that's where they're going to show it to you. That's where the multitude of the people will be. And yeah, in that way they can make you weaker faster it is breaking us down we are being killed off in the process of creating project blue beam it is a nasty side effect for us for them wished for and you know david keith the geoengineering guy who says that they have not done they only just begun researching aluminum oxide but haven't published anything yet you know he's full of it because in reality, he knows exactly how harmful aluminum oxide is to an organ or organic organism. He know, and I don't see there is any steps taken to lower the spewing out of powder in our faces every day. It's ongoing, and it will be ongoing until their TV screen is ready to deceive the entire planet. Are you ready for a nice disco show on the sky with all kinds of fireworks? I am, because I know what it is. It has nothing to do with, you know, just killing us off and make us all eat GMO food. No, that's just a part of it, and it fits perfect into the eugenics uh, theory, right? But everything, chemtrails, pertains to 3D holograms to Project Bluebeam. All the links are below. You can go do your own research. See if you can prove me wrong. It all leads to one point only. Project 
he freed the blue beam holograms. That's what it's about. Now you have a nice day and do your research, and you will see. Wait for the light show. I can't wait. Have a nice day, Earthlings.